Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to uh, Vice Chancellor, okay, Prof. Um, Mansur, and then all the uh, professor, professor, doctors, uh, lecturers, okay, to join us on training, uh, teaching and research during COVID-19 pandemic. I'm Associate Professor Dr. Norma Alias from University Technology Malaysia, south of Malaysia. I have been to uh, Pakistan many times, all right, to uh, also to this university. Thank you very much for inviting me last time. Uh, I, I really want to go to Pakistan more time because I know uh, most of the lecturers people, okay, are very kind very polite, all right, and this is a, uh, we are very appreciate. Okay, based on the experience before, so I want to contribute, okay, on, I want to share on teaching and uh, doing research during COVID-19 pandemic, all right? So do you hear my voice? Yes. Do you hear? Yes, you are. Very good. All right, so now we are doing a video conferencing virtual. We want to tr uh, explain on how uh, we uh, cope this situation, right? So before that, okay, uh, this is my campus, University Technology Malaysia, open already, Alhamdulillah, okay, we are free from convict, okay, uh, our students also free from convict, so we run the program as usual, but the class still virtual because they are staying outside of the university, and some were important, okay, doing lab or research okay they can come to university with the uh, schedule so this is a university technology malaysia in kuala lumpur all right not far away from klcc so we are focused on engineering i know okay the vice chancellor just now said that there are so many issues okay the issue now is a connection okay two time dr riza communicate with me okay through the zoom because connection all right, so we also have a good, we need to do a good relationship between peers and lecturers, between researchers, okay, because we want to run a research during pandemic session. Concentration nowadays is, uh, okay, it is beyond because we are concentrating on family, on studies, okay, on our student, on our university, on our job, and also many purposes. All right, we also need to focus, okay, our mind, okay, set our mind, okay, outlook, okay, future outlook, the development that we are going to emphasize, all right. I know, okay, what we do now, okay, we need a good network, we need a, a home library, home, home lab or virtual lab, okay, we try to remind the student, okay, about their responsibility to keep engaged with us, all right do online teaching and learning and we know we have a problem with the memory right because our cpu our handphone they cannot cope with the huge memory that we generate most every day so keep calm keep learning okay new things because we are in the virtual all right so now okay uh, th there are so many tips okay nowadays that we know okay for example they ask us to uh, decide the watch face, okay, figure our learn, okay, figure our schedule, okay, participate with the student in the class, um, using virtual class, open mind. So there are so many things, all right? And then we also, okay, um, we also, all right, communicate through the WeChat, through the WhatsApp, through the uh, Telegram and so on to make sure that our purpose will be met. Okay, I try to finish this content, introduction of free, okay, online class and uh, internet network. What is the transformation pedagogy nowadays? Digital material, okay, that we need to do transformation. Online, okay, on screen evaluation because we are the student with the student, everything in the, in the virtual, okay, student send the PDF file to, for us to, correct to then send the photo for us to correct and how to implement the virtual learning and virtual teaching right then towards the end of the conversation i know we all believe that nowadays there is a self-assessment 
and then student lead learning, student centered learning. That is our our problem nowadays. All right. So student also know, student also know their 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 function to be student lead learning. All right. So I know we are uh, uh, focused on the human to human. Okay. We are focused on the uh, business to business. All right. However, by using handphone, gadget, iPad, internet, video conferencing, and everything, okay, we are quite okay familiar. Okay, most okay using the handphone. All right. So now, based on the transformation data, you can see very drastic data generated from here from YouTube, 4.5 million 2019 to 2020 is a 4.7 million. You can also look at the, um, for example, okay, for here, okay, WhatsApp. WhatsApp before this is a 41.6 million, now is a 59 million. So the data generate very, very fast. Based on the data generated, we are thinking about how to keep the data, all right? Uh, our CPU is managed to keep the data, okay? We don't know, all right? We don't know. But uh, we know that, okay, based on the data generated from the Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all right, Google, games, and so on. And then we are using a tool to communicate with the student, for example, Zoom, okay, we create, we record the Zoom today using a record system from Zoom, and then the data at the cloud, at the Zoom. And then we are also using Quizzes Kahoot, the, the simplest uh, website, okay, the simplest uh, where you can ask the question, provoke to the student using quiz or Kahoot. Also, the data in the in the cloud. All right. So there are so many okay tools for us to communicate with the student. Why? Because now student thinking their yeah, their yeah, job spec. All right. So now you can see job for the future we are creating is a very different. For example, data analyzer, software development, system developer, algorithm provider, visualization, visual presenter, and so on. All right. So now. You can see here in education 4.0, all right, uh, what we do now, okay, is uh, more on the digital transformation, all right, digital transformation. What we hope, okay, our student aware about the 4.0, okay, they start looking for the good network, they start looking to find a very simple, okay, process to communicate with us, all right, so how we are handling the meeting, how we are handling the virtual class using Maybe WebEx, Zoom, okay, Google Meet, okay, Google Meet, uh, so many systems. All right, so now uh, don't forget, okay, when we communicate between you and me virtual, all right, virtually, so we want to keep, okay, in mind about the holistic value, for example, responsibility, integrity, wisdom, courage, justice, morality. So we hope that the student outcome will, will fulfill what we plan. For example, long life learning, they have a practical skill, social skill, problem solving, entrepreneurship that is very important, and then information management. So actually what we do now is up to the education 4.0, all right, in future. All right, I know, okay, in UTM, we are focused on science, technology, engineering, all right, and mathematics, all right? I'm a mathematics lecturer, and some of you also uh, computer science and engineering lecturers, all right? So we know how to bring our student, okay, for their career path, all right? So when we look the, the, the age of our student now, they are in generation Z, okay? 20 years, 22 years old, below, all right? They are looking for the job. Their dream for uh, what is the future for the next 10, 10, 10 years, all right? So this is the, 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 the they are looking forward, all right? And then most of the students now, uh, they are not in the college, but we need to keep communicate with them. We don't want them to uh, lose, okay, about their, their, their subject, all right? So now, from here, all right, what we, what we are going to focus to our student is a, uh, Education 4.0. Or sometimes people say, people say that um, uh, future ready education. All right? Future ready 
education. All right, so uh, this is what we're looking, and this is a global challenge, and the employment opportunity for job. All right, the employment opportunity for job. So you can see that. All right, now we start learning. Okay, we start learning with a different place, different environment, different situation. All right. All right. So now. Um, Okay, uh, we are uh, actually actually we are we are looking for okay uh, unmute okay unmute for all the participants okay I unmute all the participants alright um, so Mr Khalid if can unmute their um, uh, voice alright so now let's we go to the pedagogy transformation that we are going to focus now alright. I want to share with you uh, some video. Okay, if I can share with you the video. Okay, let's go to Okay. Uh, I like to share you one video. Okay, this is about the our our government, our country. can see that okay, uh, most of the what we are doing now is a is a all right um, ritual okay ritual all right so uh, I love if we can share with you some question here all right I hope that you can use your handphone right I share with you now okay I hope you can use your handphone and then uh, 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 choose your okay photo and uh, and then get the um, QR code, or you can write, okay, at the Google, www.menti.com, all right, you are using menti.com, and then you insert the uh, QR code here, okay, the code is 345853, okay. Towards the end of this session, you can see that how, okay, many of us, Okay, have a problem online teaching during pandemic session, right?
Okay. All right. Okay, can we continue? All right, I think uh, it's enough. Okay, let's we continue. So now, uh, okay, the next session here, all right, the next session here is uh, what is the transformation, okay, uh, based on the pedagogy that we apply nowadays, all right? So we are doing the pedagogy 4.0. Most of our students are uh, uh, inquiry driving their knowledge, all right? So the learning is not necessarily sequential because the learners uh, know their problem and find the problem and solve the problem. So it's more on the student-centered learning. Education 3.0, 2.0, 1.0 is more on teacher to student or student to student or student to teacher. So this is the uh, problem that we are uh, looking for nowadays, all right? So, uh, all right, so... Um, Okay, I'm, actually what I'm doing now is uh, uh, doing two jobs. The first is talking, the other one is controlling, controlling the video conferencing, all right? Uh, where okay, we can control, manage the participant in this, in this uh, session. Yes, right? So this is what we do now, right? Okay, we are doing okay, the transformation from pedagogy 3.0 to 4.0 is more on student-centered learning. So what we do now is uh, applying a tool, applying a tool. Oh, right? There are, there are, uh, there are a few, okay, there are a few uh, technical material that I focus here, all right? The first is uh, make, how to make the e-content. Right, how to make the Sorry. content, and then second is uh, okay, uh, here. The second is an online tool for teaching video conferencing, and then the uh, okay, the, the 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 feedback from the student. This is very important. Right? To get the feedback from the student. All right. So the tool that I'm going to highlight here is a one note, okay? The yeah, model, yeah, so we, okay. and then the Animator, Protocon, Coursera, Nearport, Padlet. Thank you. Please, uh, if you can turn off your microphones, it's, it is creating disturbance. All the participants, please turn off your microphones. Mute your microphones, please. All right. Okay. Uh, actually, I, I can... Uh, can we, uh, unmute all. All right, so now the function for uh, what you are doing is uh, developing the e-content is to develop a uh, hotogogi. Hotogogi means that we are focused on student-centered learning, all right? Meaning that students create the environment. And then the Bloom study is uh, very important because, okay, we preparing the homework and then we post to the student and then the student will, 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 uh, okay, uh, will, solve their, their problem, all right, based on the, what we post at the Coursera, Nearport, Padlet, Quiz, or Kahoot. All right, the other one is a video conferencing. Video conferencing is very important because we want to do synchronized, okay, synchronized teaching. Training. And then don't forget to get a feedback from the student, okay, because we want to improve our performance in teaching and learning skill and then doing the assessment, online assessment. All right, I'm preparing here, okay, I will give you through the pizza, all right, there is a tool that I arrange, which is very simple to very difficult. Okay, the simplest one for learning and management system, we are using e-learning, you can use it more, open learning, classroom, okay, Google, and so on. Okay, I like to share with you, okay, um, I would like to share with you, okay, this one. 
Okay, the um, we call as a learning management system. Okay, I share already with you. Okay. All right. So this is the uh, my start my 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 class on the e-learning the UTM the NY. I communicate with the student through the e-learning. This is the asynchronous teaching e-learning. Okay, asynchronous means that student can uh, watch the video watch the material, all right, send their information, solving their problem, and then do the quizzes in this uh, learning management system we call e-learning. So I send the PowerPoint, I send video, okay, after convict 19, I send so many video to my student, all right, to make sure they can understand, okay, the mathematics for the next chapters, all right. So I'm also doing a test, one, test two, using online system and correcting their, their um, uh, answer script using virtual, using digital pen, all right? So for, for here, I'm also send a photo, all right? And then I also send my material at the YouTube, okay? I share with you the YouTube that I focus, all right? So I share now, okay, the video that I, I send to the YouTube, all right? I send to the YouTube. You can see my uh, history, okay, on the YouTube. You can see the history here, all right? There are so many uh, subjects I'm handling, okay, my videos here. Okay, okay, I share with you, see, I'm sharing the, uh, the how many, means that three months, five months, okay, stay at home, I'm developing the video. I'm developing the e-content, okay, to post to the, learning management system, all right? So student can click this video and then they start, okay? Uh, they can start um, okay, engage with my subject and then start understanding. And the, uh, there are so many ways to do a videos, all right? You can uh, use, okay, digital pen on your notes, okay? On your notes here, for example, here, all right? All right, all right, you can write here, okay? I post you this one of the way. There is a textbook. I know you have a textbook, right? You just write on the textbook, but actually you write on the screen, okay? You write on the screen. Take okay, so we are doing. And then second, all right, you can also write on the paper. Uh, for example here, okay? We write one by one, words by words, equation to equation, all right? So you can see here in the video, all right, we're using pen and at the same time, we uh, put the handphone on the top of our writing, all right? So this is one of the way. And then if you uh, have um, a good, okay, a good facilities, for example, here, all right, I share with you this video, okay? We write words by words, okay, sentence by sentence, equation by equation, using digital pen. The Y is a digital pen. I'm using iPad, all right? But the cost is very expensive, all right? So because uh, we need to buy the, the gadget. So that is a problem. So in this case, we uh, hope that you can uh, okay, use your handphone, all right, write words by words, or use your okay, uh, whiteboard, maybe you can talk to the whiteboard, okay, all right, and then student, and then post your material at the, at the uh, learning management system, all right, so now, let's we go to the learning management system that I um, want to share with you, all right, don't worry, this is very simple, okay, very simple tool and apps, very simple, Okay, the important is, okay, how you do the video. Second is uh, how you do a synchronized teaching to the student. Okay, we call as a video conferencing. And then how we handle. We handle, for example, okay, I'm, I'm handling Zoom nowadays, but I keep contacting Dr. Fiza as a chair using handphone, all right? So I'm keep contacting with the student using handphone during the synchronized teaching and learning. All right, so I'm also doing the idea generation, all right, or com com provoke the idea. I'm using Padlet, I'm using Mentimeter. Just now, you're using Mentimeter, all right. 
And then uh, you can also using mind map if the subject more on uh, science social, very abstract. You can use mind map or call everywhere. All right. When we do a video, the video will create a gigabyte, kilobyte. All right. So to reduce the uh, process of video editing, so you can use Clear Video, P P PS2 PDF. This is all online. You no need to upload. You no need to register. This is all free. All right. The website okay, that I send you, the apps, the tool is all free. And then the next is interact with the student. All right. So we need to have a tool. Okay. We, we, students don't like us to talk. Okay. To talk much. So we need to play with the student using handphone. All right. So this is important for us to using Crazy, near pot, edu puzzle, scratch, all right? Scratch, you can uh, draw and ask the student and then you can also develop video question, video question uh, under near pot. I know Coursera, okay, produce us okay, a place where you can uh, sell, your, sell your, your, your teaching and learning and then the student will get the, the certificate. All right, so you can also practice this to the student using using propose propose. I my cursor is there. Propose. All right. So this is the um, tools and apps that uh, will help us. All right, to communicate with the student. All right. People will say that where is the cloud? Okay, where is the memory? Okay, for me to keep my data. All right. If you are using Instagram. Okay, the memory at the Instagram. If you are using Telegram, the memory, the cloud is at the Telegram. If you are using Powtoon, the memory at the Powtoon. All right, you can post to YouTube and get back the video that you create using Powtoon. Meaning that you are not no, you are save your you are not save your 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 file at the at the computer at your handphone. All right, so no, it's it's not. It's not uh, doing like that that way, all right? So you can save at cloud. So in this case, what happened to you? You will get a very high confidence level on IT and cyber technology. All right? You also, all right, create a ready skill that we have that you have now. Okay? You have a skill, but now you are ready skill. Okay, we are have a ready skill. And how about the student? Student start planning yeah, their job based on the virtual environment that you are creating now. So that will increase their quality of life and living style of our student. Okay, and living style of student. So now, what happened okay, in front of what you have in front of you now? It's a computer, it's a laptop, it's a hard disk. Am I right? It's a CPU, all right? It's a CPU. And also, uh, your time in front of computer increase. Okay, before, okay, in Malaysia, we are working eight hours per day. But now, we are working maybe more, more hours per day, all right? So, that's, that is a great a lifestyle, which is very different from others, all right? So, now... Okay, let's I share with you one video, all right, that I okay, um, I want to share this video. All right. From here, you can see that, all right, uh, your video, okay, this is a video I share, I think I share already the video, okay, very good, all right. So this I'm doing every day, talking in front of the computer without student, no chance. And then I'm not sure the student understand or not, all right, I'm not sure. All right, this is my student, you see my student, there are, there are 47 students. And then I, tr I, I try to uh, take attention from my student, all right? I try to make attention. 
I'm using the provoke idea to my student to make sure that I keep engaged with the student. I keep engaged with the student. So, uh, that's, that's I'm doing. Okay, that's I'm doing. All right. Okay, so now uh, I, I start, okay, I start provoke using menti.com, right? I start provoke using menti.com and then this is a feedback I get from the student, okay? I love to get the feedback from the student because, okay, I know whether they, they can um, read me, they can understand my subject. There are so many tools here, all right, that we can uh, communicate with the student. Okay. There are so many tools here, you can see one by one here, all right. Okay, and then uh, the next is to make sure student understand me. I need to do the assessment. There are two types of assessment. One is a traditional assessment that you are always do. All right, what you are doing? Okay, you are using uh, quizzes. You are using uh, short essays. Okay, and then true and false uh, question and so on. However, during the pandemic, we are uh, okay. Suggest you to do alternating. Okay, alternative assessment. All right, what is the alter, uh, alternative assessment? For example, you can use a, a portfolio, all right? Audio, video, recording, all right? Reflection on the journal that we read, all right? So there are two types of the evaluation. The first is summative assessment. The second is a formative assessment. So for final exam, now we are going to go for the final exam. We are looking for the but uh, summative assessment, okay, this is very important where we do the online exam, all right, we evaluate online using a digital pen, using a screen marking, and in this case, we are using propose, okay, there are so many, okay, where you can post your question to the student, near port, the best one, because there is integrate between the video and the, and the question, all right. And then towards the end, okay, student will get the, uh, the, the result. Okay, we also do the online presentation. Okay, that's we want to make sure that student, okay, can express their uh, feeling using the asynchronous environment. So, uh, learning management system is very important to communicate with the student and then they ask to ask them to post their answer script. All right, so they start posting their answer script and then start, we start doing marking, all right? So how to do marking, okay, with the student? So in this case, we, we communicate with the student using WhatsApp to make sure that they can submit all their answer script during the, the, the synchronized examination, okay? So we keep track with the student on the, during the examination time, for example, two hours, one hour, and so on. And then, all right, what we do, okay, we are using screencast. We are using screencast. Why screencast? Because screencast help us to uh, screen okay, the, the environment on that day, the process of submission, right? So, okay, what we do, what, what the type of the question that we need to do, okay, we need to prepare. For example, is uh, proactive with the learning support. Second is the question should be uh, not too easy because this open book test, online uh, exam online, so it should be higher thinking question, higher thinking question. All right, and then towards the end, okay, we send the question to the student and start, um, okay, start uh, collecting the answer script and, and all right, yeah, and then start, uh, the upload, upload the answer script, ah, this one, upload the answer script and then mark the answer script using pen. So if you are dealing with the photo, you can use a photo pen and so on, all right? So this is the process what, what we do nowadays. So everything can solve, all the mathematical uh, question can be asked, but should be higher thinking question, all right? So now, 
this is what happened before convict. Before convict, okay, we are very, very happy because we can touch the student, we can play around with the student, we can ask their environment and so on, we can use education tool, for example, Gag Kahoot, Nearport, Padlet, all right, easy for them, just using handphone. All right, and then you can see the assessment of the student learning also increased before education 4.0 tool after we are using uh, 4.0 tool you can see here okay the process okay of the um, uh, transition okay is very good okay i got 4.69 minimum last last okay 2018 now i get 1.4.73 okay the student evaluation me and then how the student mark okay most of the students got a and a plus okay last time there is student get b and b minus so this is the environment when we start okay doing the future ready education or education 4.0 okay before this i'm always bring the paper all right i'm always bring the paper to take the student attendance however by using a system we call utm smart and handphone all right student can okay use this QR code and we can get a list of students for that day. So now I'm using using after convict, okay, using the QR code to tick their attendance. All right. Before this, okay, when I travel to Multan, for example, I need to use a distant learning process. All right. That's what I'm doing. So I have uh, to use, for example, educator 4.0 tool. I need to use a Kahoot quizzes and so on. All right. And then other reason why I'm using um, why I'm using education 4.0 tool, for example, quizzes, Kahoot, Padlet, Nearport, uh, Powtoon, all right, e-learning. Why? Because there is a sense and empathy of my students are dropping. Because uh, most of them, them love to watch the video take other alternative, use handphone during uh, my class. So this is the way how I track the student, okay, together with me when I start teaching, okay, with the student and so on. So this is, uh, I'm practice since uh, 2018, 2018, right? So uh, in 2018 also, okay, we are running on the TPI. Okay, since I'm using, I'm choosing research 80%, teaching 20%. So what I, I'm doing, all right, I use education 4.0 tool and apps to support my teaching because my teaching is only 20%. So in this case, I'm using EduPuzzle, I'm using UTM Smart for the online attendance, all right? Okay, uh, there is a way how to get a feedback uh, 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 very fast feedback i'm using i'm using kahoot i'm using kahoot okay in the short time period i can get most of my students got 50 percent all right and then um 100 percent for 32 over 40 students got 100 percent so i know whether they can understand my subject all right or they not understand my subject all right now let's we look you just okay um uh, vote one question under Metimeter. Let's we look how the feedback from our okay Metimeter result. All right. So let's we go to the Metimeter. Okay, where is the Metimeter? Is uh, here. All right. You just uh, uh, solve one question. All right. The question is about how the impact of your teaching and learning during pandemic. All right. So uh, some of you say yes, some of you say no. So still, okay, the data collection is still, okay, um, yes is 39, all right? So meaning it's higher than no. So yes, we have a problem when uh, okay, we organize the class online or virtual, all right? We organize the lab, okay, virtual during COVID-19. So this is the uh, automation result generated from the question. I love if you can, um, okay, 
answer one question. Okay, we want to see whether this is a good feedback or not. All right. So let me go to the PowerPoint. Okay. Okay. This is a question that we uh, try to um to 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 okay to solve. Okay. All right. So this one. Alright, so I hope I hope you can go to this uh, Padlet, okay, Padlet.com, alright. If you go to the Padlet.com, okay, uh, you can p a d l e t dot com. You can type on your handphone or on your laptop, on your computer, alright. And then you can also okay um, write this uh, okay. Uh, I think better I I go I I write on your chat. All right, on your chat. Okay, let me go to your chat. Okay, there is a chat room. Yeah, there is a chat room between us. All right, let me go to chat. I I hope you know how to where to find chat. Okay, I send to chat. All right, to everyone. You just okay, click at the chat, go to the chat group, okay, there is a chat group here, okay, I give you the Padlet, alright, the Padlet account, you just click the, at the chat, alright, or you can um, write the, uh, the password is an EPCQFA3I91L5X, or you just click at the chat, alright. If you click at the chat, I want to see okay what is your feedback, what is the question in your mind, okay, and how to do a research during COVID nineteen. Ah, so uh, you can share with me, okay, at the Padlet. So next, I will share with you how the feedback look like. All right. All right. So now let's I go to the uh, process of uh, teaching and learning. Okay, since Okay, since we are um, uh, here, okay. Okay, since since uh, you you know that when you handle a long time workshop session, all right. So the tool that I mentioned before is very important, all right. We can ask them online quiz. We can do a PowerPoint presentation. We can you use a video presentation in two minutes. They will attract the people, all right? And then we ask the student to chat, okay, at the chat room. We share the screen, meaning that student can share and we also can share. So this is how to handle the longer workshop session, all right? So the tool is very important. All right, I'm, I'm also doing a video, a visual conference, okay? I said you 2019. So I'm using Zoom. Nobody come to Malaysia. Okay, nobody come to China. No food, no restaurant, no seminar room. Okay, the cost is just by the Zoom. All right, that's all. Everything using online system. So no transportation, no restaurant, no food. That is very important because we can reduce this cost. So what we do is a online Okay, international conference. We can plan if you want to do it, okay, for the future. And then now this has happened after COVID, after um, okay, COVID-19. Okay, the important is we need to have a camera, right? We need to have a, a good, okay, a lighting, okay, to make sure, okay, we can see my face, all right, you can see my mouth, okay, how I, uh, my movement and so on. So the process of the implement implementation, uh, I love to share okay this video. All right, I love to share this video. I hope I can share you the video. All right. Okay. Um. From from the video, right? From the video that I'm sharing with you. All right. I'm sharing with you. How how we implement? Okay, how we implement the the, the class? Right. So the important okay the important is okay this is important. Right. I share already the video. Okay, with you. Right. The the important is uh, 
you, you need to check the network. Ah, that is a very important. You need to check the network. Ah, so why why you need to check the network? Because you you want to categorize the student. Student have a low connection, high connection, all right, or medium connection. All right. If there's low connection, you are using handphone. You are using iPad and so on. How to check a connection? Go to speed test apps. There are so many, okay, speed uh, checking connection with the student. And then, okay, we can uh, talking with them through the WhatsApp, okay, after checking their network, whether you want to use, okay, Google Meet. If the low connection, you can use Google Meet. If the high connection, okay, very good connection, you can use Zoom, Webex and so on. Start discuss with the student, okay, where they love to uh, to do okay, they are using if no connection, you can use WhatsApp and so on. All right, so that's we do okay, check the connection whether fast, slow, and so on. All right, so this we, we, we hope that you can um, okay, try to implement this. All right, so let's I share with you uh, the PowerPoint again. All right, okay, um, we are writing okay, words by words. One equation by equation using one note. You can use one note. Okay, I'm using one note. All right, you can use also uh, Apple uh, apps. Okay, ready, and then edit the video that you make it to post to the learning management system. To edit the video, you can use Bandicoot. You can use Femora. You can use okay to to create a good video. Okay, the new video based on the existing okay environment. You can use screencast. Okay, let's we go to the screencast. You no need to, okay, to register the screencast. This is a screencast. I'll share with you the screencast how it look like. Okay, this is a screencast. All right. So, um, why we use a screencast? Because okay, if you if you are using Zoom or any environment, for example, uh, you are using Webex. Okay. You can record the environment, but you can get maybe uh, around one hour and two hours after the session. But using a screencast, you can uh, get a video, the environment process of your teaching and learning on time, real time, all right? And send to their WhatsApp, okay, what happened, okay? When you start teaching, who are, give a feedback, who are, okay, are, okay, sleep, they're not give a feedback through their to the video conferencing environment. So you can use screencast, okay? No need to register, okay? This is a free, 100 times, you can use this 100 times, free of charge, all right? Free of charge. All right, so now this is a process of dating, okay, using Bandicoot, okay? Only three clip, okay? Only three clip, cut, merge, and uh, you can use, um, join the video only three important when you want to edit the video all right so this is the process okay how you uh, upload the video into a e learning all right the data can be categorized as a video dot mp4 all right file doc file pdf file excel file photo jpeg images and so on and link link at the youtube right so this is a four category. So when you use a mock or Moodle or e-learning, let I share with you, you need to use a correct okay environment when you start posting. Okay, let I share at the e-learning. All right. Okay, you can see here if you see a blue like this, it's a video. It's a very heavy video. It's very heavy. Two hours class, one hour class. Okay, so it's very heavy. Some of uh, you, 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 just, you love to use link at the YouTube or at the tool for communicate with the student. I'm using Propose, all right? So in this case, there are so many variety of files. Some of them is a photo, okay? Some of them is a photo, all right? So that's what we are doing. See, see, this is my e-learning, communicate with the student. Okay, video, photo, image, link, YouTube. This one is a Zoom link and so on. So that is a way how we communicate with the student with the um, uh, variety types of the information and very types of the data. Don't worry, all right, the data you can save at the YouTube or you can save at the learning management system. 
you can also save at the you, um, teaching apps and tools that you are using. Yeah. All right? So don't worry. Yeah. Okay, you no need to use your handphone or CPU, okay? Because I know when you start okay, converting your material to digital, okay, what happened? Data will be generated, all right? Huge data will be generated. So uh, just now, okay, make sure that the activities that you're using, for example, Padlet, all right, uh, Paddle, okay, Mind Map, all right, and then quizzes, Kahoot, and so on, should give a meaningful activities to the student, all right? So the important is we want to share, screen, invite student, okay, responsible to the class, all right? And now, Okay, uh, when we start doing a synchronized teaching and learning, okay, make sure just now I said that combine the video conferencing that you're using and the um, communication social network that you're using. For example, I'm using WhatsApp and Zoom. You can also using Facebook, all right? Facebook for live, but it's not easy because network is slow. If you're using live, Facebook, okay, based on the experience before. When people come to the U account, all right, so the, the network will be slow. So I try to com to compare between Zoom and Google Meet, all right? Google Meet is a free, Zoom also free. However, Zoom is much, much more clear compared to Google Meet, okay, Google Meet. All right, so uh, I know till now you are creating so many files. You are creating so many files and activities, all right? You have a plan, you have a project, you have a collaboration tool between the file in the e-learning, between file at the Padlet and so on. You want to connect, you want to connect with them, all right? So what is the apps to help you to connect all the environment, all the different tools, different apps in one file? You can use Trello, all right? Why? Because you can see here, we can manage the file from student, our PhD student, master student. We can manage our subject, all right? They can plan for us. This is a, how you organize the file, which is also virtual, okay? You can attach it, okay? But it's a file and then put in the good manner. We are using Trello. This is free. This is free. All right, so since we know already, okay, we, well, I already uh, okay, uh, tell you how I'm doing the virtual, virtual marking, all right. So in UTM, all right, they have, I, I told you before, there's two assessment, okay, what we are doing in the class, okay, everyday activities is a formative, all right. In this case, you can use Kahoot, Quizzes, Padlet, Nearpod, all right. You can use uh, Coursera, this is very good, all right? You can also use, um, for example, uh, okay, Powtoon, EduPuzzle, and so on. However, when you talk about summative, which is you evaluate students based on their achievement, for example, final exam, all right, this is summative. Uh, so we, we are using a good learning management system, for example, okay, Google Meet, Okay, Moodle, Mock, e-learning, and so on. All right, to make sure that the data uh, we can get from the student, all right? And then we can do assessment and give a good marks to the student, for example. All right, so it, uh, I told you, okay, you can use uh, synchronize or asynchronize. Synchronize if the network very good, all right? Uh, if not good, we just pop our material, e content at the learning management system, for example, just now, okay, I'm showing you e-learning. All right, so now, mm, okay, let's we go to the, mm, how we grade the student, okay? There are two types of the assessment, okay, that we are, you can use during the uh, session nowadays, okay, session pandemic. The first is a graded, and the other one is ungraded, uh, ungraded, okay? Uh, maybe, okay, we can use, uh, for example, alternative assessment, alternative assessment, all right, which is uh, give a feedback based on the presentation, developing a portfolio, uh, developing the portfolio and also 
uh, diaries, okay, uh, talking, okay, ask the student, uh, give, read the diaries, checklist, and so on. Right? So this is a process to make sure they understand the uh, virtual learning and their assessment. Okay, uh, I'm using quizzes. Okay, I'm using quiz. I'm using uh, WhatsApp if they want to comment my teaching and the marks. For example, they can use WhatsApp and then submit their material, their answer script at the e-learning. All right, the process of submit, submitting the 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 the, the, the answer script to the e-learning, we give 30, 30 minutes. Okay, thirty minutes for them to take photo, transform to PDF, or straightforward send the photo to the e-learning. So give 30 minutes because sometimes their computer hang, so they need to um, set up again, all right? On again, so this take the time. All right, so the instruction, okay, given to the student should be, should be clear, should be clear, all right? Especially when we want to do a group assessment, right? When we start doing a group assessment. This is the visualization how we do a group, uh, group assessment. You can use Padlet, okay? Because in the Padlet, you can write group one, group two, group three, group four in one page. So you can monitor the group and the student itself. And then you do the peer assessment among their, their members okay, in the group. So this is very important because we are doing a virtual. This is a way how to do a virtual assessment, all right? So now, okay, a student can write their, their, uh, their, their comment, okay, we need to do summarizing, okay, their presentation, okay, and then we need to appreciate their own opinion, all right, and do some brainstorm at the, at the chat room, all right, or the, in detail at the learning. So this I'm doing, okay, uh, I know you are very familiar to take photo. So based on the photo and you start writing. So this is the methodology that we use to start grading the, the student. All right. So I'm using photo. I'm using digital pen or pen at the photo to correct the answer script of the student. So we call as an on-screen checking. All right. So I love, okay, if you can um, answer, okay, this question. Right. How to improve online teaching? Uh, how to improve online teaching? I hope that you can use your handphone, okay, okay, and then uh, take photo, okay, get the photo, and then you can get the link www.menti.com, or you can write www.menti.com at the Google, and then the request for the code, right? And then in this case, you can use five three nine zero nine one. You can see the feedback of it, right? Please, okay. How to improve your online teaching? Okay, based on my, based on my, my, my talk today. So I know you can answer this question. How to improve online teaching? Okay, I hope you can um, be together with me. I I write at the everyone here. Okay, you, you can write www.menti.com and then you put the code 539091. Okay, we will want to see the feedback. Right? We want to see the feedback. So, uh, let's go to the okay oh not not found eh? the, the 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 message is not found okay maybe you can go to the menti.com okay All right if not found it's okay we continue All right so that's i'm i'm doing with my student i give a code and students start using their handphone and then start answering your question, all right? So this is just to make, to provoke the student, all right? I don't want student looking at their handphone without, okay, listening my teaching. So that's the way. So I'm doing, okay, the Educator 4.0 style in this case, okay? I'm using so many 
Okay, so many education um, apps. For example, I'm using, okay, uh, family with me is a Kahoot, Quizzes, EduPuzzle, all right, Progay, all right. So you can use this one. And then this one is a non-profit. Non-profit means that uh, there is a specific company. Okay, develop the apps for their uh, own purposes, right? So that's I'm using. Okay, I'm using mostly is uh, EduPuzzle, Quizzes, Kahoot, all right, uh, Duolingo, all right, Duolingo, Coursera, right? Okay. Okay, this is the, um, you need to spend money, okay? Uh, you need to use uh, this, this some of the interactive course, uh, course uh, where some of them they ask you to buy, okay, but it's okay. Use the, the, the easy one, all right? Kahoo, Neopod, Boshi, it's all easy, okay? Easy and free, all right? So this is the way how we are using 4.0 education for services, for multi-purposes function in education, for uh, peer communication application, for home tutoring website, all right, all right, to monitor the student, all right. So another one is a Coursera, okay, it's also very good. All right, so now, okay, I just, okay, uh, ask you to provoke the idea using menti.com. I want to share with you how, okay, I'm very active using menti.com, all right, so you see here, right? I'm using menti.com here, all right. So this is a feedback for today. Okay, this is menti.com. So everything after class, I will ask the student, are you understand? Okay, let's, let's, you can see the, the feedback from my, my student, all right? So how they are feedback about their, their numerical? Since most of them say that can follow. Okay, some of them say uh, easy to follow. And then very minimum said medium, all right? So based on the uh, this, you can see I can get a fast feedback from my student. And also I can get the feedback, for example, uh, okay, okay, for example here, okay, okay, okay. What is different between, okay, uh, for example here, wait, wait, okay, um, ah, which, 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 which topic you need more explanation? So uh, the students said that, oh, chapter A, chapter 9. So the big, the B colors, the B uh, character is the requ required more, okay, chapter A. So what I do, I go to the WhatsApp, I say to the student, I will repeat again chapter A. So this is the feedback, first feedback, because we cannot talk with the student. However, we can communicate with the student. Okay, for example here, all right. Mm. Okay, I said to the student, okay, I'm using here Padlet. Okay, I'm using Padlet. Why I'm using Padlet? Because, okay, student can share with me their performance network. So you can see, okay, this is the performance of the student network. Some of them, okay, to download is 110 megabytes a second. Some of them, okay, to download is a 43.465 um, megabytes a second. So this is the way how I can monitor the network, okay, between student and the lecturer. So I ask student to give a feedback. Okay, you can see here, some of them using u.com.my, all right? They said that 41.64 download and 51.8 for upload. So I know their performance okay, during upload, the material to e-learning and download, okay? Upload the material from e-learning and then download their material to e-learning. So I know the how much time. So in this case, I need to be careful with the imtinan because because their, their performance is very slow, all right? I need to communicate with Imtinan and also Shahrul Hashim because the performance is very slow. So I start communicate with them through WhatsApp, all right? So now let me share again. Okay, that's I'm, um, okay, communicate with the student using um, uh, Padlet, using menti.com, and so on. 
okay, this is very important. Why I, I think I said this is very important because okay, I want to get a feedback. Why? Because I want to get a feedback to the student. Okay, because they are virtual, I cannot communicate with the, the student frequent. So, but I can send, okay, the, I can send the question and get a feedback from the student. All right. So, this is a feedback from the student. I know their communication is very slow. And then, uh, and then other, other, other question you can do. Okay, Octalis. Octalis is one of the mind map, all right? I think uh, science social subject, okay, and I think it's available to use Octalysis, all right? This is very good because you can see uh, what is the element that they want to highlight. Neopod also very good because we can do, um, we can do what? We can do, uh, Video question, video and question. All right, I I I run okay in the class last time okay, uh, good feedback okay, and I'm also run during the after pandemic, right? The pandemic. So propose okay, propose is very good because student will get the certificate after completing the 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 the, the quiz okay the games all right they will get their certificate. The student love to get the marks and certificate during the pandemic. So I'm using Propose. Okay, I'm using Propose. You can go to Propose, it's easy. I'm also using Padlet, okay, to get the fast feedback. Edu Puzzle, because I can send question, all right, to the video, to the video. So I can edit video using the screencast or Edu or Bid, uh, Bandika or the Bandika, yeah, right? Mm. All right, so just now, okay, I told you we not save the uh, data at the cloud, the, at the CPU or uh, iPad. We are save the data at the cloud. So Kapu have a very big cloud. Okay, you see, yeah? okay, this is the data that I save at the cloud. Almost the exam that I run, okay, I get the data again. And this is also important for me to check the attendance of the student when I run Kahoot or quizzes, right? So I have a big cloud at the quizzes and the uh, Kahoot. All right, so now what is different between Kahoot and quizzes? Quizzes, okay, student control the process of the uh, answering question. Kahoot, uh, lecture centered, okay, lecturer. Uh, 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 control the process of the question and answer session. All right. So now, okay, the important, okay, is uh, how you do your answer script, okay, how you do your question. Is it high order thinking question or, uh, okay, true or false, very simple essay and so on. So in this case, since the exam is open book, so be careful, okay, be careful. All right, so uh, for teaching conclusion, okay, I just can say that, all right, I just can say that we we still maintain, okay, inter intellectual aspect, for example, growth, nuts, calf, okay, knowledge, wisdom, intellectual properties, we still maintain, all right, we are eager to ask a question, all right, however, we need to make sure we maintain the intellectual properties. We still, okay, we not compromise, okay, with the um, <coughs> all the good value, morality value. Okay? okay, we know that. Okay, what we do now is a redesign teaching and learning skill. All right, what we do now is uh, <coughs> we. We do the evaluation without examination. Am I right? Because we have the alternative assessment. Right? And then second is uh, to harmonizing the education 4.0 using online class, we need the holistic value. We need the intellectual aspect. Right? So <coughs> education 4.0 is available for science social and science, all right? So Dr. Dr. Fiza, can I continue for the next uh, question is, 
how to do research how yes, to do yes, research yes. during ah uh, during the pandemic all right during the pandemic question yes this is wow. the main question okay so now i try to finish the content for example nowadays we are in the fourth industrial revolution how we do the research before COVID and after COVID, and then how to improve the communication what the technology that we need to do okay when we do a transformation when we do a transformation between before COVID and after COVID, and the innovation and invention that we create during the pandemic session all right so let's i <coughs> make it uh, more clear all right <clears throat> i know we are in the developing country we are in the developing country okay most of our research is more like this lah, all right okay virtual reality all right more on the temperature behavior finite element method to uh, represent mathematical model and simulation to represent the real life uh, application and so on all right and then uh, kalau in Malaysia, vacational is more on the okay, uh, okay, uh, hand vacational lah, all right. So in this case, we hope that there is a, a relationship between university and industry, relationship between the university and the government, all right. Because we cannot do it alone, all right. We need to communicate with the industry to get the grant, to get the industry grant, and then virtual capital, all right, because we are founder and then communicate with the government okay to register the grant and start doing research and so on so this is the integrate that we do so now in for industrial revolution for example in my university university technology malaysia we are focuses on the um, nano technology artificial okay neural network artificial intelligence 3d printing all right biotechnology Robotic, quantum computing, predictive analytics, predictive model, for example, machine learning, deep learning, and so on. All right? So that's where we All right? So what we do now is more on the physical process. Say okay, physical process. So as, as you know, okay, um, we already, okay, aware about the researcher nowadays, okay? We hope that researcher is a, uh, Okay, in this process, for example, integrating education because we are we are we are lecturer, so this is our main purposes. I have twenty percent teaching here, and then how we cope? Okay, to do research. Okay, what is the type of research? What is the essential knowledge and skill that we can implement to the real world? Okay, during the pandemic session, right? So. Uh, as you know, okay, the research, okay, there are two types. One is a fundamental or basic research, and the other one is the applied research. Mathematics is more on the fundamental or basic research. Nanotechnology is more an applied research. Okay, nanotechnology consider a fundamental. If you go to the uh, nanomaterial, okay, develop a very fundamental material, new material, innovative material. All right, the types of research, exploratory, description, explanatory, okay, and then most uh, mathematics is more on the theory testing research or theory building research, all right. Computer science, maybe, okay, classification research, cooperative research, all right, and then um, this is the type of research, qualitative and then quantitative, all right. So most of you, most of us using qualitative, okay, qualitative research. And then some of the sense social they are using quantitative research. But most of the research now, this is easy to publish because there are so many journals in Scopus, ISI, all right, you can publish. For the science social journal, okay, there are way how to publish, okay. Uh, maybe they can use um, a most PLS, smart PLS to rendering the data and then rendering the literature review, all right, especially to develop the review paper. We review better. All right. So in Malaysia, in Malaysia, the niche area is here. It's a frontier material, okay? Uh, sustainability energy, all right? And then um, health and wellness, innovative in engineering, and smart digital community. So this is the niche area in our 
in our university. So the, we categorize the research into a center of excellence. Okay, there is a center of excellence. There is a high institute center of excellence. It's, it's, there is four high institutes in UTM. And also if the faculty level, okay, they develop their research group. Okay, there are 170 research group in UTM with the very specific, okay, very specific area. All right. So what we do now, okay, we need to collaborate with the industry, with the government, with the agency, with the international relationship between us, okay. I start engage with you based on the international relationship, right. So this is because, okay, the process of the mindsetting for entrepreneur, okay, we need to go through all this journey, right. What is the journey? Research, development, okay commercialization, innovation, and towards the end, uh, spin of company or start to be the entrepreneur, right? Start to be a entrepreneur. For example, in my research, okay, you can see my research here, all right, I'm uh, modeling the um, temperature behavior, pressure, density for multi-layered food chip system. There is no wire in this handful. There is no wire, right? Naked wire. However, based on the multi-layered food chip system, we can, okay, integrate all the function, for example, health skin, transistor, okay, and then uh, battery, okay, uh, power, and so on in the multi-layered system. So, in the industry, they can manage it, man they can manu manufacture the process, do that, okay. We can develop the complex mathematical modeling for the inter- homogeneous layer of the food chip system. So this is the what we do if before open big, we can go to the industry, we can do testing, all right? We can get more information okay from there. All right. And then but okay and then we, we develop okay before before conflict we can develop okay this one using the software development process. All right. And then um, do validation on verification. Right? There are a few steps here. Okay, for the physical research activities. However, okay, now it's a COVID, okay, it's a COVID-19 pandemic. This, what, what, what should we do? We cannot go to the company. There is a keep distance between us, all right? We try, okay, to avoid the super, uh, the super speeder event, okay, for example, meeting and so on, okay, physical meeting, all right, personal hygiene, all right. Okay, we can do the regular communication using video conferencing and so on. So this is the uh, the best form that we can uh, perform to do a online research. And then the sec the second is what software. I know, I know you are very expert in solving problem using software. I during teaching and learning, I I already explained many software. All right, many educator 4.0 software. In the in real process, okay, for example, you are quite expert okay, in solving a small data using C++, using a Visual Basic, Java, all right, maybe you are using Python, okay, Scilab, MATLAB, and so on, all right, and then you can transform okay, the problem to the uh, software existing to solve your problem in the big uh, data, for example, all right, there are so many software out there. Okay, you can buy a cloud and so on. So why? Because the impact is similar. It's similar before COVID. You want a real-time monitoring. You want accurate result. You want high resolution. All right. So in this case, okay, when you deal with the software, okay, whatever you do, you based on the data you get from the lab. Okay, you get you get from the previous. Okay, from the before COVID. Okay, you can. Um, Analyze okay using the, the the software for example using machine learning for example using Amos using Smart PLS for example and then that will also give you a similar impact all right the similar impact all right so now okay um before coding all right you you know how to okay um do it manual physical now you start developing the process the algorithm. All right, the uh, framework, the flow chart. All right, so that's what we are doing. We start uh, drawing something. All right, and then, OK, 
okay, people who are using computer, for example, using high performance computing, using lab, they start remote from home. They start remote their system from home. All right. So this is very easy because we deal with the computer. How about if they are dealing with the lab? If they are using a, a chemistry lab, physics lab, and so on. So they also have many alternatives, right? Many alternatives. Right, so uh, that's uh, what we do now. So now let's we go to the um, uh, okay. Uh, before convict, okay, we can go to the lab, okay, we can do the um, value added testing, validation, verification physically, all right, traditionally, right. However, okay, during the COVID 19, okay, you can start okay, to write the intellectual property form, for example, pattern, copyright, okay, and then uh, okay, trademark and so on. So you start documented it, all right, because based on the product development, you need the copyright, patent, all right, trademark, and other types of the intellectual property uh, um, filing, all right. So this is a research path, okay, that we need to go through. Okay, for example, okay, in this case, I think in this case during the COVID-19, right, you can do the fundamental research, develop a theory, develop a theorem, develop the formula, for example, and then do the software development, okay, in this case, okay, you start uh, find the indicator to find the performance measurement, for example, Okay, you can use numerical analysis, numerical result to perform the uh, performance measurement, performance evaluation. You can use initial learning, deep learning, extreme learning to get the result, okay, to get the prediction, all right? And then uh, publication is one of the tool, important tool when we, uh, in the pandemic session, all right? We can start writing, all right? finding the good journal, good impact journal, and then start documenting the uh, technical report, for example, all right, and do the uh, process of the application intellectual property okay, filing, for example, all right. So how to do the transform from physical research to, um, okay, to the um, virtual research that you are doing now in, at home, all right. The first is, okay, uh, we can do a library research, okay, library research. You can uh, access the library, okay, uh, online, e-book, for example, all right, library research, okay, means that you get the uh, previous research, literature review, okay, in this case, you need a tool, you can use AMOS, you can use PLS, you can use, um, okay, a, a smart PLS and so on. All right, do a data collection. Maybe before COVID, okay, you have a lab and then you have a data, a small data, all right? And then start, okay, generate the data and then analyze the data. Data orientation, you can do a data testing, data training, data classification, all right? In this case, you need artificial intelligence tool to do that, all right? So what we do now is a transforming from the uh, signal from the non-virtual to the digital, all right, to the digital transformation, to the e-content, all right. So that's we need to do, the basic thing, all right. So what is the artificial intelligence, in artificial intelligence, okay, uh, intelligent, intelligent uh, tools that we, we propose here is a machine learning, okay, where we get a data, okay, you also have data, students have a data, and now convert data to digital, process the data using uh, machine learning. You need to do classification, feature inspection, and so on, right? There are a few steps. I think, uh, okay, you can do, because this is a process of learning, okay, you start learning, lah, all right? You start learning. Okay, how to conduct online research? Uh, this is in our mind. How to conduct the online research, yeah? All right, so now, <clears throat> okay, uh, till today, okay, till today, okay, uh, Okay, I, what I'm doing, I'm find a factors or parameters or variable to give good influence to my research. In this case, I'm doing so much on 
library research. I need to access to UTM library to get uh, the data, okay, to get the journal, to get the high impact journal, high impact journal, high cited journal about my research focus. And then I'm using AMOS or PLS or Smart PLS to get okay the integrated between all the factors which is influenced to develop my mathematical modeling. All right. So I get the integration. After that, I start writing at least the literature review. All right. At least the literature review. We can publish what we have. Okay. For example, uh, the review paper to the journal. Okay. Because we are in the convict. Okay. In the convict paradigm. Paradigm. All right. So now, what I'm doing now, okay, if uh, the research deal with the library, all right, I try to convert the activities in the uh, in the laboratory, okay, laboratory to the theory. For example, nano, okay, nano, uh, nano material, okay, nano material. I'm using silicon nano material. Okay, what is the impact to grow of the nano material? at the CV, okay, uh, at the machine, okay, at the nanometer machine. So in this case, okay, I start looking the theory, how the growth of silicon nanowire, okay, at the machine. So in this case, I have some parameters, I have some variables, I have some factors, which is impact the growth of the nanomaterial, all right? And then, <clears throat> mail order lab, for, for example, here, I start, okay, communicate with the people in the lab, okay, to do some changes because nobody can go to the lab unless people are working in the lab. I start mail and start make a recruitment, all right? So I bring some information from the lab and I start doing the, uh, if you are chemistry, you can do the home lab, all right? For example, the simple home lab, okay, okay, because you cannot go out, so you can do home lab. All right, after, okay, doing the home life, okay, we start thinking how to create online lab, virtual lab, all right? So in doing a virtual lab, okay, you need a tool, at least software and the hardware, all right? And then towards the end, okay, we hope that we can think more on the developing the virtual lab of the future, of the future recruitment. So this is a process uh, that we are create during the pandemic. Okay, uh, actually, now we are in the new norm pandemic, all right? We are in the new norm pandemic. So we are thinking about how to create the lab of the future, okay? I know when you compare between uh, the traditional lab and virtual lab, you can see that the virtual lab, there is a pro and cons. The pro is very fast, less, Okay, there is a not expensive, okay, fun. Everybody can assess the knowledge can spread very, very, very huge. Compared to the traditional lab, okay, people can go in two or three people, four, five, maybe, all right, because it's very lack of people. Okay, the, the space is very lack, okay, very, very, very small. All right, so there is a time consuming and then costly, all right? So this is a difference between virtual lab and traditional lab. So now my question here is, how to conduct research from home? Ah, how to conduct research from home, all right? So in this case, the first is communicate to your research assistant. Communicate, keep communicate, keep engaged with the student, all right? Attract student to keep engaged with us. Remote, use a remote alternate or ping from home to your system to your computer in the in the university, all right? And then uh, develop a small skill lab at home, all right? Maybe you can develop a small skill lab at home. And then we can use Internet of Things solution to our expert using handphone, using device, using data, all right? They can develop Internet of Things solution, all right? The, the important is how to remote, how, how to develop a virtual library. Right. There are so many examples. Okay, I will give you some examples. I know this is not a time of to, to develop a robot. However, we are developing a robotic remote library, right? Automation library. Okay, and then studio. Okay, you see here, I'm at home. Now I'm at home. 
I have a studio, all right? My studio, okay, I need to prepare the lighting uh, on top of me, the camera on top of me, and then the, the, the green screen. I don't have a green screen. I have a white screen. So you need to prepare the robot, okay, studio or robotic camera system, all right? Robotic camera system, all right? So this is a process that you show it. Ha ha. Okay, since, okay, you are expert, okay, or, or can use the existing uh, software in the, in the uh, Google, all right? So from here, you start, okay, uh, thinking how to manage, okay, the, the, the chamber, okay, the, the machine, okay, with a different angle, for example, here, all right? So this is all in virtual. You can calculate using mathematical modeling. All right, this one also, the virtual lab, okay, in the virtual lab, all right, you can put some <coughs> uh, weight, okay, at a certain, okay, machine. So how the feedback from the machine in the virtual, the, the result is in the virtual. They will calculate automat autom autonomous, okay, to your body. All right, so now, okay, I, I, I just want to see whether virtual lab versus traditional lab which is more cheaper, more fun, more convenient, okay, okay, uh, between the two types of lab, virtual lab or traditional lab. Can you, uh, if you can share with me, okay, you can uh, go to the, okay, a QR code, and then you can uh, get the answer autom autom automatically, or you can use menti.com, and then you can, okay, uh, put the code. So you can use menti.com go to the uh, menti.com go to the last of the, the chat room okay. and then you go to the code 715604 okay, all right all right so you can go to the chat room okay zoom group chat there all right this week, okay. uh -huh, you can go, okay, try to answer this question and then towards the end, I will give you the feedback. So now uh, I told you the same thing because you are expert in teaching and learning. So this is a tool to do the communication with your research assistant, with your student, with your research group, with your industry, okay, partner. All right, with your friend, which is expert in your area, using this okay environment. Okay, I hope okay uh, sometimes using Skype, okay, using okay uh, too much talk, okay, they cannot understand. All right, maybe you can use a, a sharing, okay, a sharing screen with them. All right, so in this case, you need to use video conferencing sharing screen. All right. All right. So now, <clears throat> okay. Mm. This is a research process, okay, during the, uh, I suggest you, okay, during, during pandemic, okay, the important is uh, how you explore your research ideas and construct your search. Uh, this is very important, meaning that you have the ideas, you know how to write the proposal, you know how to get the grant for your ideas and concept, all right? You know how to find the background of your information. You know how to get the data from the bank of data, from the Google, for example. You know how to buy the data. And then how to gather more information, okay? And then um, locating current research, whether in your, in your PC, in your cloud, in the lab, and so on. And then how to evaluate the resources. This is very important. And then cite what? Ever you find in the multi-disciplinary in the appropriate format. So in this case, uh, Trevelo will teach you how you divide the format of data into a into the specific function. Right? For example, I told you the data that you get when you get the information, maybe in the PDF file, DOC file, uh, video link, and so on. So how you manage okay the data in your in your in your hard disk right, for example so of course okay you are very expert how to write how to publish a journal 
all right so during the convict okay convict 19 pandemic you can start to write your abstract introduction what's method okay you want to highlight in your paper what is the result and discussion i know you are very expert all right maybe you did uh, to improve okay by attending more workshop all right so um, okay uh, okay one of the important is writing a technical report why technical report okay this uh, first okay first um, innovation first contribution of a certain research all right you can write through the technical report because there is a isbn number there is a series number all right so this is to make sure that you publish you are the first people who are published in this area all right okay this is the methodology that you can create during pandemic okay what is the introduction with the teachers with teacher survey material and method all right what is the discussion you want to highlight and the conclusion you start writing okay because okay you have the data okay you know how to analyze the data and so on. all right so uh, during the pandemic i i input some information here okay for example you can write detailed work plan and scheduling okay also you can write more on the research question and general approaches using a specific methodology all right during pandemic you can integrate with the research activities you run in the lab you run at the home you run in the virtual you run using the virtual lab and so on so there is integration with other research activities in that right so <clears throat> okay why i love to express technical report because okay you can claim you are the first person okay first contribute in the specific area by highlighting the rich uh, technical report by highlighting your technical report the technical report okay is about the laboratory experiment that you're using okay construct and design report all right report the testing measurement the indicator to assess to um, measure the specific result all right and various okay various thesis and uh, article that integrate with the scientific journal and then the project report to support your technical report right so you start okay writing now because this is to show that you are the first person okay for uh, the first contribution for for the specific ideas before your first paper published in the journal right okay during pandemic i think um, most of the conference are virtual conference you can send the paper and this is the organizer start looking for the best paper to publish in the journal all right you can also okay, use a transaction journal this also scopus if the pakistan they are focused on the isi so you start looking back of sign okay the impact the high cited journal to publish a paper all right okay and then uh, book chapter book chapter okay most of the publisher they ask us to they invite us to write a book chapter because we are in the academy i know you have a material based on the thesis based on the technical report based on the student report and so on you can contribute to the book chapters say book chapters all right during the research now we i know this is a pandemic okay pandemic session so we are in the valley of death okay most of people say that we are in the valley of death Okay, we cannot do anything because we cannot go to the lab we cannot meet students we cannot meet researcher we cannot talk to the research group uh, so this is a really of that don't worry all right i know this will be a good impact that vice chancellor just said just now this is an opportunity to us okay to start for the next journey okay we start do the research research incubator research commercialization all right and then spin off company uh, and uh, start looking for the market okay start looking for the market this is a product development okay we have a problem okay where the product cannot go to the market because uh, we need to go for the incubator and so on so this is a rally of that right the environment happened for almost okay almost people all right so mm, when i stay at home okay what should i do 
I keep contact with the industry. I'm, I'm focused on, on the research uh, software development. So I'm looking, okay, a company, for example, okay, in my country, there is a distributor for a specific distributor, okay, for the specific software. I keep contact with them, right? For the long-term focus, okay, for basic research, okay, for collaboration, for organizing, okay, something, okay, maybe a workshop, okay, online training, okay, and so on. So I okay, keep, contact, keep contact with them, okay, engage with them through the video conferencing and uh, MOA or MOU, right? So this is one of the example. Um, I have a one product, okay? And this is a high performance computing product okay, to investigate the temperature behavior at the specific company, SMI, Antara, and LGM. So I keep contact with them. At least I say, hello, all right? How we want to continue okay, our research because they have so many ideas. They have so many ideas. So they will give their ideas to us and at least they give us a seed money. Okay, seed. All right, so now during the pandemic, I know, okay, during the pandemic, um, okay, all right, during the pandemic, okay, we start uh, uh, writing the, we start writing the, um, what, what, what we call this one is a, a internet property, okay, internet property. Right, okay, so when we have the intellectual property right, okay, we know how to uh, document our ideas and concept, okay, in the good manner, okay, we know how to claim, okay, whatever we do, so we start, okay, start writing the intellectual property uh, filing, okay, we start do a patent filing, for example, yeah, so in this case, there are a few, okay, uh, what we do, we start looking, okay, we do uh, um, artistic work, we are using uh, scientific work, we are also using uh, literary work, okay, this we consider as a copyright, okay, this is considered as copyright, at least during the pandemic three months, we have one copyright, right, the other one is uh, industrial properties, for example, invention, industrial design, marks, okay, protection, against unfair competition and so when we go to the, the process of the invention we start looking for the industrial properties right so this is a uh, form that we need to fill up for the property right all right so uh, why because we want to get the the license okay we want to get the uh, pattern we want to get the uh, formal copyright from the our country or from the university, for example. Yeah? So this is the IT product. Okay, for example, uh, we are from computer science, mathematics. This is a list of the IT. You feel that you contribute one of this list is considered that what is considered that you are in the. Uh, okay, so I thought I share with you. Okay, okay. Uh, this is the IT IT product. All right, this is the IT product. So one, if you if you feel that you are uh, in this in this okay IT okay in this in, in this research okay, for example you developing the CAD you are developing the algorithm you are developing the software hardware okay you support the process of device development you support the data okay analysis from the sensors so this is considered IT uh, you can apply for the copyright okay. I know you are very expert, okay, I know, okay, you are very, very expert in developing the theorem, corollaries, formula, all right, um, theory, okay, of the mathematics, okay, so you write so many mathematical models, so you also can uh, apply for the copyright, okay, for your contribution, highly contribution, yeah, so this is a copyright form, Right, you can write. I think your university also provide the copyright form. You start looking for the writing copyright. So this is a, what you do during the COVID. All right, what you do during the COVID. Pattern is more on the product purposes. Okay, I have um, I have two patterns. I can many copyright because okay, uh, I developing the machine. Okay, the machine where uh, when the data comes. Okay, the 
the, the result will be, the prediction will be uh, output okay, of the machine. So the machine that I, I, I have proposed is a machine learning, deep learning, at string learning. All right. So this is a machine to analyze the signal data to the digital data. So that is considered as a pattern. Okay, people from engineering, easy to get the pattern because uh, they know how to deal with the internet of things, sensors, device, and the, the mobile computing and so on, right? So this is a, a process that we know. Okay, some uh, technical, okay, lecturers, okay, for example, vocational and so on, all right, they, they love to uh, share, okay, they love to share their product through the symbol, through the um, uh, words, okay, face, graphic design, all right? So in this case, also they can uh, apply for the trademark. Okay, they can apply for the trademark, all right? So, okay, during pandemic, okay, this is the time for us to do the pattern search, okay? What is a pattern search? To compare, okay? To compare the existing uh, contribution data that you have to the okay to the uh, pattern okay at the uh, pattern google.com for example my po for example us Osto, for example this is the uh, library okay to compare okay whether your contribution your product is plagiarism or similar or enhanced from the existing product at the Pattern search website, okay, at the pattern search library and repository. So you need to do to make sure that there is no plagiarism between you and the existing uh, pattern or product or copyright in the market. All right, so now let's we go to the digital transformation. Let's we go. What to do now is a uh, do a digital transformation during the during the pandemic. So in computer, you can see here, all right, what we do, we need to go for digital. So there are so many uh, configuration, computer generation. Nowadays, you can use, okay, from the small to the biggest, okay, from the big CPU to the sensors in the eyes, okay. For my area, okay, I'm dealing with the big data simulation. We try to animation, do animation with the 3D, all right, there are most of them, cartoon, for example, all right, Cosware, teaching Cosware, they're using a 3D animation. So let's, okay, send your data, send your programming to the cloud, to the uh, machine learning, okay, to the, uh, to the uh, high performance computing platform to generate the data in the short time period, all right? So um, at, the, at this point, okay, do the collaboration between the university in your country, for example, myself, I have a good relationship between a university in my surrounding me. I'm South, UTM South, so I have a collaboration with the other university, for example, in UTM, right? And I have a collaboration with the UNITM, UITM, UPM, okay, and also USM. So it's very important, you know, why? Because uh, we want to have a collaboration good ideas, right, uh, for the good uh, product that we develop for mankind. The important is the product that we develop is for mankind, right, good for mankind, yeah. Okay, mm, right. so maybe, okay, in your stage, okay, maybe you love to go for the invention and innovation competition. So this is a time for you to touch up, to enhance your product ready for their competition, right? Uh, however, in our country, okay, we, we want to market yeah, their product, right? So now let's say okay, during the video conferencing, during the, using the <clears throat> okay, tools, okay, that I told you before, we can do a research network. We can communicate with the people, for example, in Russia, in China, in India, all right, in Ireland, in US, in Canada, in South Asia, Indonesia, all right, Japan, okay, Saudi Arabia, Africa, and so on, using video conferencing like we do now, or WhatsApp, Telegram, social network, and so on. Why? Because that will give a good impact to you, 
all right, especially during the new norm, the COVID-19 pandemic, yeah. So as a solution, okay, I said just now, okay, coronavirus pandemic is an opportunity, okay, for us, all right, because during the, during the research and development in COVID-19 pandemic, so we know how to use a tool. We know how to do the digital transformation. We know how to develop uh, e content. And then, of course, okay, what we do now, okay, for example, with you all okay, here in Pakistan, I'm doing a research collaboration, especially to my ex student in Pakistan. All right. And then, uh, this is the era we call as a era digital research transformation. Now we know. When we stay here, we do a library research, we do the home lab, we are using a remote lab, we are using, we develop a, a virtual lab, and also we are ready for the future lab, all right? We are ready for the future lab. So we hope that research development that we uh, bring together with the industry and expertise, okay, for our future development, and we hope that will be benefit to Malaysia, to Pakistan, to mankind. All right? The research that we develop is uh, for mankind. Okay, not for okay, uh, like COVID nineteen. Okay, we cannot go outside. There is a research on COVID nineteen. All right, so there is impact, very negative impact to the mankind. All right. Okay. So this is my conclusion. Uh, so I'm ready for any question or answer. I hope you can go to the Padlet, okay, where we can share with you okay, what is the question related on the teaching and research during COVID-19.